Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the one-on-one podcast. I am joined, as always, by my co-host, Kathy Baker. Kathy, welcome, and hello. Hello, and you know what? If I could just pause a moment Mm -hmm. and thank our listeners, for those that have downloaded, subscribed, we really appreciate it. And I don't know that we pause enough to say that. So thank you. Welcome back. They're the reason we do it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that I get to see you and yes, Ryan. That's very, very true. <laughs> I get to hear his wonderful voice. That's just like music to me. I think one of these days we'll put him in the chair. It's okay, we're getting the budget soon. I'm yeah. going to have my own little station set up. Yeah. We don't have the budget for makeup yet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so I think it's just you and I today, which is okay. It's always fun. But uh, what do you want to talk about? You know what? I want to take the opportunity since it's the two of us to talk about something. Well, it's it's important to all three of us because I know we use sports analogies so much. We do. And what I would really like to talk about is something that's become incredibly important to our organization and to One.U and something that Mark and I are more than committed, more than dedicated, more than passionate about, and that's coaching. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, and, let's talk about it. And to talk about a certification, and we've mentioned it before, um, but to talk about a certification that we are offering to our network called Coach Up, because you know Cuba loves the ups. We yes. have recruit up and lead up and team up, and now we have Coach Up, and it's a certification. And um, just the power of coaching and and what Coach Up is, I'll give you the history behind it. When we initially developed this program, and it is a, it's a three-phase certification. So let me start there. Okay. Part one of the certification is an eight-hour workshop that we do in Zoom, we do it virtually. And it is two four-hour sessions that we do um, that are actually just the workshop. It's interactive, we keep the groups very small, 12 to 15, so that we can have great engagement. And it's it's not productivity coaching, it can be, but the coaching certification is more of a leadership coaching, more of a communication, more of a how to listen better, mm-hmm. how to understand body language, how mm-hmm. to understand the importance of scripting and dialogue and listening and being proactive rather than reactive. So phase one is that workshop where we cover all of that. Um, phase two is you actually have an apprentice or you have a client or customer, however you want to, however you want to frame that up for approximately six weeks where you implement the workshop, you implement the various tools that we provide for you, the forms that we provide for you. And then phase three is we send a survey after the coaching to that, to that apprentice. We get their feedback on the on the candidate's coaching. And then we have a one-on-one conversation. And then at that point you're certified. So it is it is a three phase. It is quite comprehensive and we are super excited about it. And so it's it, it's awesome. I mean, I, I've I've learned, you know, more of the nitty gritty details and it's something that's really, really cool. And I, I kind of want to know, like, what is what's the ROI for someone that goes through this course? OK, um, let's talk about the investment, because mm-hmm. when we talk about the return, we need to talk about the investment, the investment for our affiliates. So our broker owners who are listening. Um, is is time and energy. I'm not going to say there is no investment because if it's free, it has no value. We do not charge for the certification on monetary, but there is there is the investment of time. For anyone else in the network, being top producers, rainmakers, anyone who would like to pursue coaching as a career, as a sideline, there is a $1,111 investment. Mm-hmm. Imagine that. Now, after that, the return on that is unlimited. Yeah. Because we're going to encourage you. I'll talk about that a couple of different ways because that that answer is a little bit more complex. Okay. If they want to coach people in their office and they want to do a, a level of coaching, they can charge um, whatever they deem they want to charge, whether that's a thousand dollars a month or $500 a month or whatever. And they keep 100% of that. So So again, uh, sorry, I don't mean to interrupt you, but so the, the certification is almost you, I don't want to say this is open-ended, but you can kind of do what you want with it after you become a certified coach. Yes. Yes. Got it. Now, 
If you have, and we just we just finished phase one of the certification with someone I'm not going to give his name yet, but I'm super excited about mm-hmm. a rock star in our network. And he has a coaching program. Yeah. And one dot you is is vetting that coaching program once an individual's coaching program is approved then they have the opportunity to be featured in 1.U. So they will have access to almost 19,000 agents. Yeah. They will have access to their own domain or their own channel, if you will, within 1.U where they can feature their tools and resources. Additionally, guys, they'll have the opportunity to fully utilize 1.U. Mm-hmm. So all of the content that we provide in 1.U um, through our partnership with some total and open sesame, they can curate all of that content, create their own coaching playlist, and then provide it to the network. So for that, there is going to be a rev share with one dot you for access to the tools, the resources, and the nineteen thousand agents. Within that, there are some awesome, tools available that in addition to having their own domain, they can have their own community. So they can have a coaching community that their coaching clients can network Uh and the system rates them. So they will get stars just like with Amazon or any other rating where the network can go in and say, wow, I want a five-star coach and you're going to populate. Totally. So uh, my first initial thoughts and correct me if I'm wrong, it sounds like you uh, are you're an actual teacher, right? Every, every, you know, 10th, 11th, 12th grade English teacher all taught the same curriculum, but it was the teacher itself that made the difference. Right. Yeah. And so it sounds like you go through this coach up and you are the right person and you check all those boxes and we give you the necessary tools and the necessary curriculum. And you know, the world's your oyster at that point. I want to go back and talk about something you just mentioned, and that's the power of teacher and mm-hmm. those impressions. And in last week's podcast, you heard from our coworker, Nima, and he talked about the reason he's doing what he's doing now so successfully yeah. is because of his introduction through two teachers. Mm-hmm. One was in about the seventh or eighth grade, and then one was in high school. And I, I, I love that you brought that to the table that those people who are listening, who are at a point in their career, that they really want to make a difference, this is their opportunity. Absolutely. And um, just to take their further their career by helping helping others. So we're super excited about that. Um, we're super excited also about the revenue share. So I'm going to speak as a boomer. We talk about generations a lot. Yeah. As a baby boomer, I know a lot of people who are just that not only knowledgeable realtor, but also wise realtor that have been through a lot of different cycles and encourage the boomers to look into this, to see, Mm -hmm. is this something I'd like to do? What I love about this opportunity and what Mark and I are so excited about is the opportunity to coach at a, at a local level. Mm -hmm. So the opportunity to coach in your market, in your office and be able to bring in this is what's relevant. This is what's happening today in our market and make it applicable because we all know realtors who are very effectively hiring coaches, but a lot of times, and I'm in Raleigh, North Carolina, you know that, it's not going to benefit me to have somebody sitting in San Francisco where the average sales price is 1.2. Right. So I love the fact that it can be applicable and it can be giving back at a local level. We talked, you know, a couple of weeks ago with with Kat about that giving back and we do it at One Cares and now we can do it through One.U. So we we love the fact that we're opening up a lot of opportunity to a lot of people. I think um, and coaching is more than uh, to me, coaching is more than right now, just a powerful word. Mm-hmm. It's uh <laughs> How do I say this with bluntly? Uh, it's also really good for the brand. I'm just going to put it that way because what we're doing is we're taking <clears throat> experts from all of our local offices and then they are sharing their expertise with the rest of their office in their market. And so all that's going to do is just make this br- brand more successful and grow even more. And I'm saying I, that I'm I, saying that selfishly. I am. Well, and I'm going to say selfishly. Uh, another, I think, important part of this, and I really forgot that, is this is a coach the coach program. Mm-hmm. So once certified, you stay in our coaching network of 1.U and we host monthly calls where you can jump on. And I think to your point, 
one valuable asset to this coach the coach program um, through this coaching certification is the networking Mm -hmm. and the referral. And it is good for the brand in that I'm going to be able to say um, to the coaches, hey, you know, Sally Sue's got an issue in Arkansas where her average sales price is 275. Who has another coaching client who's been through some of these challenges that these two could be accountability partners or they could right. network or they could become referral partners. Yep. So super excited about that. Super excited about the opportunity for us to open up um, real unique opportunities for people who specialize in equestrian properties mm. or people who specialize in um, golf course communities or those realtors who have very sp- specific niches in addition to luxury, which yeah. we offer. So I think we're going to be able to expand everything from equestrian properties to military, to really putting people in a position to achieve greater success faster. Yeah. I, I mean, I think you and I talk about this all the time and I, and I want to circle back to just the, our philosophy and the concept of just coaching itself. But Um, I think we both believe in the idea of paying it forward, you know, someone who helped you out back in the day. And then you feel like you're going to do the same when you are at the stage where you feel like you can help them out. And I do feel like that is a philosophy that runs through this brand. And there's a lot of people that someone helped them out early on in their career. And now they're doing the same thing for maybe someone who's just starting out in their career. And now we've literally created a platform for them to do it. And selfishly, again, the platform to do it correctly. Yeah. Because we've had in the certification workshop, we've had so many aha moments. Mm -hmm. We've had highly skilled professionals raise their hand and say, I've just realized I'm a really good trainer and I'm a really good mentor, but I haven't been a good coach. Because a big part of coaching is listening Mm -hmm. and a huge part of coaching is allowing people to self-discover. Yeah. And that's as opposite from training and mentoring as it can be. And uh, Josh, have you ever had experience with a coach? And have you ever experienced what we talk about, what what I mean by that self-discovery? Yes. Uh, So I meet once a week with a business coach um, and she's fantastic. And uh, we, you you and I were chatting about this earlier. Um, I recently found out that she had a career as a news reporter and a talk show host. And, you know, me being now relatively new to this podcast, kind of opened Pandora's box in my brain. And just, I had so many questions. And at the end of the conversation, I was so inspired and I'm so ready to go back to her next week and, you know, kind of like continue this conversation and grow and learn from her. And like, to be honest, really, really, really utilize her expertise and experience that she had for, you know, almost three decades and something that I have one year of experience in. Well, number one, thank you for investing in yourself. That's huge. Yeah. I love um, I love that business career coach um, perspective. I've, I've done the same. I invested in myself for productivity before I had the money. Mm-hmm. I think a lot of realtors have done that. And my coaching, I'm still coached. My coaching um, has evolved with different roles. So mine is now more of a leadership, more of a career mm-hmm. coaching than it was um, to get my productivity up. One thing I love about this is as in coaching realtors, it is productivity coaching. Yeah. More than that, it is discovering maybe why they're not being as successful. Maybe what are the roadblocks? What are the patterns? Mm-hmm. What's held them back historically that can nudge them to the next level? Because agents tend to plateau. Yeah. And it's discovering, you know, it's kind of like if you're dieting, it's not what you're eating, it's what's eating you. Yeah. And that's the same thing in productivity coaching. It's why are you not closing more deals, but what's getting in the way? What is the mindset that you're thinking scarcity and not abundance? So we love this program in that it's going to do more than improve your relationship with your agents. The feedback we're getting, which we're delighted and so proud of, is it's helped me in my relationships. Mm -hmm. It's helped me in other organizations I participate in because I'm. I'm more, I'm coming for more curiosity than judgment. Mm. I can be solution oriented, yet coming from that curiosity, I'm getting to a deeper and a better solution than I was coming from judgment and just 
being the quick fix. I, so that's the difference in coaching. Yeah. I, but I think you, you brought up a good point coming from the, what, if you want to call it the, the student's perspective is uh, really being curious and not judgmental. And that's a hard thing to do sometimes, right? Because we all think that we know it all and we don't. And it's a matter of really wanting to learn more, wanting to be better, wanting to whatever. Go ahead. Well, I think the difference there is when you come from that quick solution, it's a temporary solution. Mm. But in coaching, when you the deeper you go, the more permanent the solution, mm. because when it's self-discovered, it you break a habit. Yeah. You change. It becomes change oriented rather than solution oriented. Um, we can all close more deals by doing something a little bit different. But if we come from the why behind what we're not doing, then we have a permanent broader solution. Does that make sense? It does. Yeah. So that's what we're super excited about um, to, to offer it to the network. I, I will tell you selfishly again, this this sets us apart. Yeah certifying our ownership to be better leaders sets us apart from any other organization because it's, it's back to our core values, right? It's back to our being golden and looking at smart growth, you know, and looking at owning what we have in every acronym within that golden mm -hmm. and being a good steward of time and energy and, results. It just, it, it totally feeds everything that we are, those core values. Is, I mean, I know you pretty much just answered this, but is there anything else like this in the industry? Um, uh, there are a multitude of coaching programs. I'm, and, and I don't know them all. Mm -hmm. I think this is one of the few that comes from the heart. Yeah. I think a lot of other coaching organizations are driven by that bottom line profit and ours is more committed to being change oriented mm -hmm. and being a, being a bigger, a bigger solution than just the financial, the financial comes, you know, it's that old adage of you chase the money and chase the money. But when you stop chasing the money and you start to heal and repair things that are broken, you find the money comes to you. Yeah. You find you're attracting it rather than trace than chasing it. And I think that's what a good solid coaching program does. And I'm confident that is what Coach Up does. I'm excited. I mean, this is it's super cool. I, I mean, what's I know this is we're already in the early stages, but like what's the adoption rate look like? Man, the adoption rate, we've had over 140, wow. 140 people that have that have gone through phase one. All of those are in the phase two. Mm -hmm. We've got about 20 that are turning in their surveys now. And so we are in the Mark and I are in the process of the interview process, which is about a 45 minute interview where we take the survey, we go through it and then they're certified. And then they, they are in the follow-up coach, the coach program. That's pretty exciting. Mm -hmm. Now, once they have certified, our products are available to them. Yeah, so that's, that's my next question. Good. Team Up will be available to them and all future products like Level Up and all of the others will be available to them with a rev share. What? <laughs> <laughs> rev share. So it's all about, you know, it's all about doing the right thing and it's okay if you make money while you do it. So we're excited. Couldn't agree more. Um, well, Kathy, I know you are a busy woman. I do not want to keep you forever, but thank you for letting us know about coach up, uh, please for everyone, like listen to this episode, learn more about it, log on to one.u. Um, there's just so much cool stuff on there. So once again, go ahead, Kathy. And, us. and as always, if you have questions and you want to know about more about the certification, please email learning at realty one group.com and we will get back with you. Perfect. Thanks, Kathy. Thank you. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you, thank Josh. You. We thank you for joining us today on another episode of One on One, a Realty One Group podcast. We are powered by One.U and ask if you have suggestions, recommendations, or questions, please email learning at realtyonegroup.com. And remember, pay close attention to the details, listen to understand, not respond, and always be a resource, not a sales pitch.